Welcome, this is Zahn with Re Repo Products. Today's Revit tips and tricks is tip number 9 and number 10. Tip number 9 is how to reduce the filter category list when creating filters. And the second tip number nine, 10 is creating a slope tag in a plan view. Let's start with tip number 9. Heading over to a plan view level 1, we have the ability to create a filter. When we're creating filters, say for example these walls, I select all the interior walls or a interior wall and let's put in a description under comments that says uh, non-rated. And that's an instance property for all of these wall types. If I select another wall and go to its type properties and input in here say under description non-rated as well we can filter by that either description or by the comment it would make more valuable sense to create a wall filter for all of these interior walls where we're using the description as our filtering rule if I have nothing selected and I open visibility graphics and dialog box I can go to filters or I can go to the view tab of the ribbon go to filters and I can create a filter when I do this and I put in say wall rating description and I click OK I get a very long list of category of objects to work with based upon what's checked here and that just leads me to have to scroll all the way down to find that particular category of objects to create the filter. The tooltip is as follows. If I select the wall first and then go to filters and I create the filter. You will notice that the filter category list now highlights only that particular object makes it easier for you to create the filter with the objects quickly and easily. So if I continue this and say non-rated, I can create that filter and then open up the visibility graphics dialog box to add that filter. And things such as the color can be different, the pattern can be different, uh, and if we go through the process of, of adjusting all of this, even lines that are in cut and the pattern as well that's in cut, then you'll see that your filter is created as such. So the next tip has to do with putting in a spot slope annotation which is located in the annotate tab of the ribbon dimension panel you'll see spot slope if I start the command and go to a plan view and try to place my object uh, annotation on an object such as this ramp it'll say no slope uh, interestingly enough it will give you the slope of the railing that is on that ramp in this situation if I click the ramp it'll say no slope if I head over to a 3D view and I use this tool, it will actually register and read that ramp slope and I can place it. How do I take this one foot, uh, one inch per one foot annotation and transfer it to the plan view? I can very easily just take this, delete it, recreate it again in the plan top elevation, if you will, of the 3D view so that it looks proper. Select it, copy it to temporary memory, clipboard, head back over to the plan view, and then paste. Head back to modify and paste. And when you use the paste command, however, you need to make sure you're using the aligned to current view. And if you do this, it will place that annotation. You can then select it after the fact and move it where you want. If you try to use paste from clipboard, it won't allow you to do that. You can also try placing the aligned to same place and it will give you the same results as well. 
And that is tip number nine and number 10.